that's what's being written about, the reason for his success. Now, uh, you know, at that time, he's looking at the time when 61, 62, there was the Nehruvian phase. You know, after that, there was this thing about idealism and people never believe in idealism and do everything for the country. And, and growing cynicism about it, you know, like people getting so cynical about the whole thing. And they were not achieving, they were achieving. Now, what do you think was the real reason? We find see this as a reason behind you know, the kind of characterization of it. Angry young man who wanted to go out and achieve, not just live in idols. So do you agree with something like that? I, I think that this question is best answered by what uh, uh, Mr. Javed had to say. Um, some, uh, some interviews uh, that I have seen of his. Um, Javed Saab and Salim Saab were the writing duo of a lot of my films during that era. Um, be it Sanjeer or Tibar or uh, Shole or uh, Kala Patthar to shoot. And um, they have expressed that there was a kind of um, a vacuum in society where the common man felt that the establishment is not attending to his needs, his desires, uh, and that he felt that it was time for me to take things up on my own steam and bring results. This was the cynicism. What they wrote and were, and the characters that they designed at that point of time bore the essence of uh, the times. And that is why perhaps the, uh, the angry man emerged. And I was fortunate enough to have uh, been considered to play these roles. And anyone playing those roles would have succeeded. So it was the writing more than anything else. And I, and I value that opinion, and I think that that is perhaps the best explanation uh, to the question you have asked. So with Anand, you were a sports director, and like, uh, with Zanjeev, you had caught the imagination of a nation. So they were desperate for an idol at that time. Then came Tiwar. Now, did you in any way contribute proactively to build it? <laughs> no. Everything that was designed was being designed by Salim Javid, the writers and the directors that executed their, uh, their writing. I, I was merely a tool in, uh, in their larger picture. Uh, I, I can't really give an opinion. Um, the funny thing about acting and actors is that uh, so long as you're, you're a normal human being who's uh, looking out for a job to become an actor, uh, Nobody asks you these questions. It's only when you become a success or a seeming success, then all these very intricate questions come your way. And one hopes that, uh, it, it, it's expected that whatever you say is going to be like the voice of God, but it isn't. We're, we're pretty dumb. And uh, sometimes far too much importance is given to our words than we deserve. But in a recent interview, I think this was with the Premier of the show, you seem unaware, almost dismissive of the hold you have on the population. You know, you like to dismiss the fact that you are a great actor or you're a superstar or whatever you are. Why is it that you know? Because I'm not. Do you really believe that? Yes. Is it still a search inside you, a need to do something? Different? Oh, all the time. All the time need to do something different, something new. Uh, now, you have a very literary background. Now, how much of intensity required in the Kirk tradition of your father? Do you express it in your profession? I wish I could. Um, the written word is, um, is very far and few in Hindi cinema, which is of any literary value. That's a sad part. Not much of what is literature in, in, in India is, uh, is picked up by the films, or the Indian film industry. But then on the other hand, there isn't much written that is exciting for the Indian film industry. 
Uh, yes, I would like to incorporate uh, the intensity of my father's works. And uh, perhaps uh, if there is an opportunity in the future, uh, I would like to do that. Um, but for the moment, one has to just be content with uh, what is written for you, given the format, given the limitations of commercial cinema. One tries to um, bring in perhaps uh, some good thought, some good expression, perhaps uh, the usage of some uh, good words, uh, or the fact that certain words are pronounced correctly and spoken well with the correct intonation and the correct meaning. Um, that in itself is, is, is quite satisfying, and I hope that, uh, that I will be conscious of that and that I will endeavor to uh, not compromise as far as that is concerned. But that's just like a drop in the ocean. We need to do much more if we need to have or invite more literary work in Indian cinema. People will remember my father for thousands of years. They've already started forgetting him. I can uh, do the one that you just talked of. Uh, it, it's a personal favorite of mine as well. And I think it's, it's so apt uh, in today's life, which talks about the rush of life and, uh, and, and uh, how we are placed in that. Um, this was written 30, 40 years ago. And it's amazing uh, how well it shows the insight and the futuristic vision of, of the writer. That something that was done 30, 40 years ago is still very valid, alive, and meaningful. जीवन की आपाधापी में कब वक्त मिला कुछ देर कहीं पर बैठ कभी ये सोच सकूं जो किया कहा माना उसमें क्या बुरा भला जिस दिन मेरी चेतना जगी मैंने देखा मैं खड़ा हुआ हूं इस दुनिया के मेले में हर एक यहां पर एक भुलावे में भूला हर एक लगा है अपनी अपनी देर ले में कुछ देर रहा हक्का बक्का भौजक का सा आ गया कहाँ क्या करूँ यहाँ जाऊँ किस जा फिर एक तरफ से आया ही तो धक्का सा मैंने भी पहना शुरू किया इस रेले Yes. Yeah. I, during the time when I was just doing acting and not doing production, I was uh, inclined to be uh, trusting the people that were doing the writing for me, whether it was the Salim Javed or whether it was uh, Prakash Mehra, or Manmohan Desai, or Yash Chopra, or, or Rishikesh Mukherjee, or whoever. Um, but yes, now that uh, there are added responsibilities of the production company, yes. Um, I would like to invite uh, the system of a creative bank where um, a whole set of writers would just sit in and write things in which we could all discuss at a common forum and pick up stuff which is best suited for us. So yes, this is a very valid uh, point and we are making efforts to be doing that in the future. Yes, of course. We, uh, Govindji and myself have met several times, and we have discussed several scripts. And I'm eagerly waiting for the opportunity when we can get a fix on some subject, which is to both our liking, and uh, go ahead and work with him. He's a, he's a fine director, and I've seen a lot of his works. And I hope that we can do something in the future. Yeah, sure, no. 
I was uh, uh, working with uh, Rajesh Khanna in Anand uh, when uh, Salim Javed used to visit Rajesh Khanna. And that's how I casually got acquainted with them. Uh, thereafter, uh, and this is what I have heard, when they uh, saw a film called Bombay to Goa and they saw an action sequence of mine, uh, they felt that uh, um, uh, the potential in me to be able to take on a role like Zanjeev. I believe that the film was offered to several people before me, Dev Saab, Rajkumar, uh, Dharamji. In fact, I believe that Dharamji had the script with him. Um, and then uh, when all of them were unable to accept this project, they uh, came to Prakash Mehra to direct and uh, decided to offer this role to me. So initially, it was uh, uh, Prakash Mehra and Salim Javed that came. I did not know anything about Sanjeev. But um, several other films like Shole and, uh, and, 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 and Divar, we, we worked very hard. I worked, really worked hard because I knew, uh, uh, I knew the script because Salim Javed had narrated the script to me. And I did uh, try to impress upon Ramesh Sippy, uh, as indeed I did to Mr. Yash Chopra, to make these films and to include me in them. Now, how much could you identify with that, with that sort of anger around the character that you had? You know, because I because I would say that when, when you were still on the periphery of the cinema, you had to do your own thing. You, did you have the anger in you? Did you I believe there's, there's a bit of anger in all of us. And we just get a wonderful opportunity to express it, unlike uh, others who uh, have to wait for somebody to hit them on the head. Yes. Uh, well, uh, it was exciting. Uh, I was uh, I was wooing her, so it made uh, it made the excitement even better because we would be together most of the day, which is what most uh, uh, lovers want to do in any case. And uh, we had legitimate excuse to be together because we were both at our jobs. So that was very convenient. And then we decided to make that convenience a little permanent. And so we got married. Um, your films with Rishida, well, we had done an interview with Rishida. And Rishida Shankar, you have spoken so highly about you and your films, you know, having worked with him. So your films with Rishida are so different from the Masala films. Uh, how would you rate Rishida, working with Rishida, yeah. your relationship? One of the finest directors that we have. And uh, um, he has always uh, stuck to his convictions and his, uh, the power of his convictions. And that's what he has been able to convey in all his films. He has not uh, pandered to the typical commercial genre. He has created a genre of his own and succeeded. Um, an excellent technician, a person who knows the craft uh, backwards. A, 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 f a fantastic director for any actor. Uh, I never had the slightest problem of either being able to understand an attitude that I had to adopt in the film or what I should be wearing or how I should be saying my lines. And most of the time we used to jump scenes, we used to jump sequences and he was always right. Um, an excellent human being, a person whom uh, Jay and me treat as our godfather. And uh, I always seek his blessings on any important occasion in my life, be it my daughter's wedding or my own marriage. Um, I wish and hope that I could work again with him, provided he has uh, uh, something in mind for me. Um, what else can I say? It is true, it was only one director whom you didn't ask the script, or you didn't really give anything to the script. The cover was there for you, the film. 
Absolutely right. You, you don't question Rishikesh Maharaj. You just obey. And still do it today also. Absolutely, yes. Uh, now, in Anand, you were, a star, you were a star in the making, and Rajesh Khanna was always a star in the debate. So were you nervous working with Rajesh? But of course, uh, the whole uh, attitude of working in front of a camera is uh, in itself very daunting. And uh, to be working with Rajesh Khanna, uh, this huge mega star, and the truest superstar that India has ever seen, uh, was, was without a doubt frightening. And um, it was always, uh, we were all so much taken up by, by his persona and by what followed around him. And uh, we were all the time gushing and, 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 and talking about him throughout the making or even several years that we did films together. Without a doubt, uh, uh, we got noticed because of him. Films like Chuchul, Divar, Lahari, and you got that name, Vijay. Was it sometime in real life also that you reacted to that name, Vijay? No. This was uh, Salim Javid's interpretation. Or, uh, they felt that the leading man should be called Vijay, and so it was. Mr. Vachan, uh, looking at you, I'm kind of not looking at you personally, one feels that you are a workaholic. Am I right or wrong? It's, it's purely out of compulsion. I really have no escape from this. My circumstances are such that I have to do the work, so I do it. You have escaped from this life. I did, yes. I, I took a break for five years, and uh, which was very exciting, and it was self-imposed. So I don't know whether I shall be able to do that again. <laughs> Would you like to do it? Oh, yeah, sure. In Bombay, in a Bombay film industry, a lot of people look at one of those things to go to Hollywood and do films. Have you desired to go to Hollywood and do English films? Sure, this is. Um, I'm sure that the, anyone who has connected with cinema in any part of the world has a desire to go there because that is the number one industry. Um, but I don't see how. I would be accepted there, or Hollywood would accept an Indian star or an Indian actor. Have you made any? No, I haven't. I haven't gone out deliberately looking for work there. Um, but then that's primarily because I don't see how an Indian actor will fit into a Hollywood scenario. An Indian looking actor we had a Marsh from this one. Yes, of course. But that's a different story. <coughs> Finally, uh, what about your forthcoming films, Lal Baksha, yes. I think Lal Baksha, we've already spoken about it. Yes, I think we've spoken uh, at length about that. That's, I think, probably next on the end. Uh, Bale Mia Chote Mia is also ready, perhaps will be seen in August. There's um, Meul Kumar's next, which is Kohram. There's uh, Hindustan Ki Kasam being directed by Viru Devan, in which I'm doing a guest role. There's um, uh, S. Ram Nathan's film, yet untitled, uh, which is about eight or nine reels ready. And there's a Padmalia film from the South on a remake of a Tamil film called Suryavanshan. Uh, these are the ones that are immediately going to be coming. You've got your bag, it's more than full. Yeah, my bag is full. <laughs> if I were to ask you which has been your most satisfying film so far? Very tough to say. Very tough. There the have been several, yes. The most, um, some films that I did with Rishikesh Mukherjee, some that I did with Salim Javed, some with Prakash Mehra, Manmohan Desai, Yash Chopra, some with Tinu Anand and Mukulanan, the odd ones there. I guess they were very satisfying experiences. Perhaps I could ask for one film which I particularly liked, Shakti. Uh -huh. How was it working with Dilip Saab? Wonderful. A realization of a dream because uh, Dilip Saab is my idol. I always admired him and still do. Admired his work, greatly inspired by his work. I've been watching him from, from the time I was in school. And uh, then to be suddenly face up with him at, 
uh, in the same medium that I had been admiring him in was uh, just too much to, uh, to contain. And what a wonderful experience it was. So, finally enough, finally, is we as viewers would like to see father and son team. Are you planning something on this? Um, let us say that we are not planning, but at least we're thinking on those lines. And uh, if it is feasible and if it is acceptable, we shall most certainly be together.